Alright YouTube, uh, Big Daddy with a how-to video. Um, somebody sent me a message asking how how to um, create commentaries for YouTube using the Roxio Game Capture. So this is the main um, this is the main startup you'd get. I'm not going to go into the whole capture thing. That's really easy to do. Plus there's videos right here on how to do it. What um, the question was on how to create the actual commentary. So I'm going to go right into the edit and share. And it'll pop up here in a second. So um, this, this software was pretty much made for commentaries. Um, it's really easy. I'll create a new... Um, I always do 16 by 9 widescreen. Or you can do the normal, but I like the widescreen much better. Um, there's no button that says press this to commentate, but it's once once you see this video and once you do it for yourself once, it's very easy to do. So first I'm going to do, um, oh, and sorry, I don't have a game capture device for my, um, my computer, so I have to use the camera. But um, it's the best I can do, so I hope it helps. So first, obviously, after you capture something, you're going to go to the add photo and video right up there. And I'll just use this thing I recorded. It's a World at War gameplay. So your gameplay will pop up on the screen at the bottom here. Um, first off, I always like to do is I like to mess with the brightness and the and the, maybe even the contrast a little bit because it 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 um it helps with the picture quality a lot. Um, so that you can just mess around with them. They're right up here. You know, just kind of fool around with them and and you know. So your picture gets to the pristine that you'd want it. I think it helps a little bit. Um, so to commentate, you want to go up here to this microphone button. It'll say Add Narration. Again, my camera's not the best quality, so you might not be able to read it. But it's a little microphone thing up top. And you just click on that. And then this window will pop up. And that's when you can plug in your microphone, or you could actually use your onboard computer. That's what it's actually picking up right now. Um, I leave the, the level the same. And then you're just going to hit this button, Record. And it'll give you a countdown of three. And then it'll start recording. It shows the gameplay while it's going on, so you could be able to see what exactly you're commentating over. And then you can, and then it'll, uh, it shows you the duration, the position at which you're at. And then whenever that is done, um, whoops, it'll say complete, and then you'll just press done. Obviously, I didn't go through the whole thing, so it erased it. But you'll go through the whole thing, and it'll pop up right here. Uh, fix one. In fact, you know what, I will... Um, I will add a take to that. Um, okay. So it'll say take dot wave. That'll pop up on one of the, the on the sidebar right here. But if you were just to leave your sound levels as is, um your voice will get drowned out by the gameplay itself. So what you want to do is you want to click first on the video and and it should you get these um dash marks and then you want to go up to this microphone right here and I do negative 10. I like to do negative 10. And then what you want to do is you want to click on this and also you want to get the dash marks. Go up to the volume right here and I like to go all the way up to 6 and you just press enter and it's good and so now your voice will be higher than the actual gameplay therefore you can hear yourself you can hear yourself talking it's very easy to do um, then we you know once you finish that if you want to add edit you know cut whatever you want to do trim split and then what I do is obviously save um, but I go export I'm gonna say no because I don't want to save this you press export, um, do uh, all, then you want to go to this, um, and keep that NTSC, that's just a basic setting. Um, your basic windows, your basic, um, 
video file is probably going to be um, WMV 720 by 480. What I like to do is I use the Windows Media Video 9 1280 by 720. What that does is it gives you a um, uh, that gives you a um, <clears throat> sorry, I can't, uh, a full screen. I couldn't spit it out. Sorry about that. It gives you a full screen. And I really like that. Um, the one thing that sucks about this camera I'm using is it doesn't give you full screen. But if you're using this, do the 1280 by 720. That'll give you a nice full screen on YouTube. Obviously, um, I never check this. It's normalized audio. Um, do your file name where you want it, and then you're going to press create video file. And then it's going to render. It'll show you a preview of where it's rendered. Um, it'll show you the total duration, the completed duration, available space, and its file size. I'm going to press cancel because I don't want to create it. And then it'll, that'll go away, and you exit out, and you go to YouTube and upload it. It's extremely simple as that. I don't use this direct upload to YouTube. I do the export, render, and then upload it. Going to YouTube's website, I just like it better. But you can do whatever. So I hope this helped you a lot. Again, I want to apologize. I had to use my camera for this. But it's the best I can do. And I hope it helps. If, if you have any more comments, uh you know, put them in the comments bar, obviously, and I will try my best to answer them. So I hope this helps again, and thanks, guys, for watching.